to DB Fishing. Uh, another little video I got today here. Um, if you haven't been to this channel before, it's mostly uh, going to be fishing, a little bit of hunting, and some other little outdoor content. Um, so yeah, if you haven't uh, come by this channel before, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're going to be getting into some ice fishing here pretty soon. We just got a cold little stretch, some uh, snow. So that'll be coming here hopefully in a couple weeks. Uh, still got some moose hunting left too. Um, that second video, I'm still working on uh, my late season moose here. So hopefully get that finished up, fingers crossed. Anyway, today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. Uh, I'm not gonna do a lot of these kind of product reviews or that kind of thing, but I wanted to do one on uh, the Escape Eskimo 2400. Um, just because last year when I was looking at buying a flip over, uh, the Escape, there's a 2600 and the 2800, which are bigger than this one, but the 2400, there's really no other videos or reviews on it. So I kind of wanted to go over it and just, uh, if there's anyone else in the same boat I was at looking at buying, this maybe will help them out. Um, my pop-up is an Otter and then this flip up, I went with a Eskimo. So I really don't have any, uh, company preference or anything like that the Eskimo and the Otter I would say are probably were the top two doing my research but anyway um like I said there's the 2400 is the smallest in the Escape series but uh there's two big features that the other two that are bigger than this uh don't have and it was part of the reason why I went to this 2400 so yeah, there's the Escape 2400 by Eskimo. Uh, I already got the doors folded out, as you can see. Um, two side doors, which is really nice. That way you can just uh, step out the side and if you have two people fishing in there, each person has their own door. So that's uh, really handy. Um, there's 26 square feet fishable area in this thing. Um, it's insulated, so you got 35% warmer and you don't get that wet dripping like the shacks that don't have uh, um, no insulation so that's a big plus uh, there's two spots here where you can peg it down outside if it gets a little windy and uh, yeah lots of windows in this thing you can fold fold your windows in and out keep it insulated um, yeah so that's the outside step inside hopefully you guys can see uh, we got the bench, so this is a foldable bench, you can put all your stuff in here, and this is where you sit and fish, comfortably fits two people, and the reason uh, I went with the 2400, one of the features that the other two don't have is they have two seats, not the bench, so the thing I wanted was the bench was you're not limited to only having two people. For example, if uh, me and my f wife go out, we usually have our dog with us. It has that extra room where he can jump up with us. Um, another thing too is uh, small kids or something. If you have two small kids, you still have that room. You're not limited to two people with two seats. So that's really why I wanted to go to the bench op option. Or uh, another example, if you and a buddy are fishing and you have a friend that stops by, maybe he just wants to have a five or 10 minute visit you know he can squish in but comfortably it fits two people really good and uh yeah i've had my dog up on here he lays and while i fish so it's, it's just the option that i wanted was that bench and yeah so that uh bench is really comfy too i got this later in the year last year and i've probably fished it 12 14 times already and long days on the bench it was fine back wasn't sore or anything it's actually pretty comfy. Um, this thing has six windows in it. So yeah, this six windows and the door just folds in. Zips up nice. Good, strong zippers on it. Um, windows, you can fold up or down. You can take out the window, let some air in if you need. The insulation in this thing is really good. It's strong. Um, all aluminum poles. So it's pretty light, it's uh, under 100 pounds. I think it's like 95 pounds, this whole thing, flat and everything. Um, and yeah, like I said, 26 uh, square feet of fishable area. It's 
it's locked to room, it's nice and high. Um, I use like longer rods too. I think the shortest rod I use is like 38 inches and it's got lots of room. My holes are in, way in front of me, good reach. It's, it's pretty roomy. Um, comes with four uh, stabilizer bars which you click in after you fold it out. So yeah, those just to adjust your support. So after you fold everything out, you uh, cinch up. There's one in the back, one in this front, and then two for the roof, and uh, one for the back roof too. So yeah, it, it keeps it really sturdy. Um, one of the first times I used this, I was excited to take it down, got out there, and it was super windy, and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. And actually, once I got it set up and snow shoveled around the edge, it was, uh, I was surprised how sturdy it actually was. It's, it holds up pretty good to wind. Um, I have a Mr. Uh, heater, big buddy heater, and that thing on low and medium, it's, you're sweating in here, you're fishing in a t-shirt. So yeah, then uh, this is your bench. Uh, when you go to fold it down, that folds down like that and everything just, all your aluminum brackets just fold back in. And uh, you can fit lots of stuff in the sleigh. That folds up. I still got my scoop and another little chair and stuff. But yeah, lots of room down in there. Um, it's got these little mesh pockets so you can put your stuff in in the back. It's got a zippered one. So yeah, there's three of those mesh, mesh pockets. And uh, yeah, I use one of these little lights. Just a USB lasts for like six hours. So when it gets dark in here, it's uh, nice. And yeah, these just uh, the slide in and out. It's just these little click buttons. You just press and then it slides down and you just go along and do all of them. And they uh, click in when you're folding out. Uh, it's got the vent for you up here, one big vent. That's pretty handy, just when you're running your propane heater. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the inside. I'm just gonna do a video here, I guess now, of folding it back down and then go over a couple things when it's folded up, which was one of the other features why I went with this Escape 2400. So yeah, when you're ready to fold it all back in, um, close up your doors um, from the inside, take all your snow off this edge or your pegs out and take out those six supports that were inside. Yeah, so then from the inside, you're just gonna wanna start at the back and just pop these down. Just going along, sliding all your clips, your brackets down, and they just slide down the pole. And just keep flipping it over once you get it just all folds in all folds down and you just have these last two one thing I just wanted to show you uh, last year in March when it gets hot and sunny and you're kind of fishing outside you can still pull this behind your skidoo um, and then this is your chair and you can just fish outside I even would set this up like this for a uh, sunshade so it's another cool little option um, when it gets nice out, you still just take all your stuff in the sleigh, pull it along and you still got your chair and everything. You don't have to bring chairs and that kind of stuff. So it's just a really nice mobile unit. That's what I do. I hook it to my snowmobile and just, uh, run and gun, wall hop. It's the way to go. So yeah, it's the way to go. So yeah, anyway, to fold it down, you just take your last two clips, slide. They just kind of hit that button, right? And they're all down the back. Let's start from the back up into these two. Bench folds down and that just folds nicely into it. Make sure these are all, all your uh, material, your canvas is tucked in. And then, yeah, you got your uh, auger, your rods, your pail, and everything. 
So yeah, once you have it all folded in and uh, your material kind of tucked in, the rest of your gear where you want it on the back or underneath the bench here. Um, this part is the Eskimo part for it. Doesn't come with it, you gotta buy it separate, but it's honestly the way to go because it keeps uh, all your gear protected and dry and it keeps everything tight uh, all together when you're ripping around on the snowmobile or whatever. Uh, around the lake and yeah, so then you just tuck this around quick and get it around the sleigh. Fits pretty tight so nothing bounces out. Yeah, tuck everything in. And yeah, I've, I've had my auger just right in there, my rod case. Um, everything fits pretty good that you need. And the tarp goes over it all. Has a little cinch on the back here. Tighten that right up. Um, and away you go. Um, it's got this little hitch. That is also separate that you can hook to your skidoo. Um, it does come with the rope. So if you're just uh, pulling it out or like early ice or something, it, it has that rope. You can just pull it manually or if you don't want a solid hitch. You can just do the rope that's got holes in it. So yeah, it's a quick little unit to go. Um, awesome for uh, moving spots, that's for sure. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is one of the features about this, is this thing slides into your truck under your tonneau cover. So that was the other reason I wanted to go to the 2400 escape because the 26 and the 2800, uh, they're big. They're not going to fit in the back of your truck. Actually, the 2800, I don't even know on a regular uh, half ton if the tailgate closes. But uh, this thing's really nice because uh, it is heavy, but I can get the front end on my one ton tailgate, slide the back up, palm cover down, head home, park here in the garage, heated garage, or if I'm going out the next day, it's just left in the truck and the tunnel covers over it, protected. So that's one of the reasons I want to go to the 2400. Yeah, so that's going to wrap up the review over the Eskimo uh, Escape 2400. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns or whatever, uh, just comment below and I'll uh, definitely get back to you. Like I said, I'm not really uh, faithful to one company or anything. This, uh, my pop-up's an otter. I went with Eskimo because of the two reasons. Uh, the small, smaller sled can fit in my back of my truck. I don't have to worry about it. And the tonneau cover can go over to protect it. And that bench, I'm not limited to two people or anything. I got lots of room on that bench. But yeah, it's been an awesome, awesome unit. Uh, anyway, I want to thank uh, e &M, Napa, and Esther Hazy for sponsoring this video. Um, if you guys need anything Eskimo or Ion, be sure to check them out in Esther Easy Saskatchewan. They got uh, all three different pop-ups like this. They got, uh, or sorry, the flip-overs. They also have the pop-up tents, the, the fat fish line and that kind of thing. Uh, or if you're looking for the new Alpha augers, the electric ones, they have those. And also uh, Eskimo gas augers. Um, all, all your blades for your augers, your extensions, all that kind of thing. If you're looking for clothes, they got the bibs. Um, this is the Keeper series. Uh, they got the uplift, so you float if you fall through. It keeps you safe. Super warm these things. And then they also have a bunch of jackets. Um, this is the heavier stuff, the Roughneck series. They have the bibs and stuff and that. So yeah, if you're looking for any of that kind of stuff, also the Eskimo gloves are super awesome, uh, waterproof, and they keep your hands really warm. Uh, even if you want something for skidoo. Skidooing or ice fishing, that's what I use. It's a great combo. Uh, I don't always just fish in it um, for days on the skidoo or whatever on the trails. It's awesome. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this uh, review. Um, just the end of this video will be me kind of sliding it into the truck just to show you how it fits under the tunnel cover and into, uh, into the box. Doable by yourself to get it in and out of the truck. And then you're on your own. You got all your gear in here. So it's a uh, the Escape 2400 Eskimo, great little unit. Um, 
yeah, so if you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe to follow along. Uh, I'm going to be getting some ice fishing here in hopefully a couple weeks uh, in Saskatchewan and Manitoba, some lakes this winter. And also hopefully get this uh, moose part two moose hunting video done here. Um, I still got my tag here in the late season, so I'm hoping to get out a couple days and uh, maybe not be as picky, so there might be some action. And uh, that video should be coming, I hope. All right, uh, any comments you have about it, make sure you uh, leave below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for tuning in. box and the tunnel cover. Thanks for watching.